In Campaign 08, Republican John McCain is planning a trip to the battleground state of Colorado tomorrow morning, tomorrow rather, for a town hall meeting in Denver. Today in Phoenix, McCain and his wife Cindy attended a church service and later went to a veterans hospital. Barack Obama had no public events this Sunday, but tonight there is more fallout from what critics are calling his changing position on Iraq. Today, while Democrats and Republicans traded barbs over the issues, analysts warned a warning of their own. Thaya Shura says more. We changed strategy in Iraq and the surge worked. Now that's change we can believe in. This week, this ad from the Vets for Freedom organization, which says it's independent from John McCain's presidential bid, hits the airwaves in a $1.5 million campaign. These are the facts. They can't be ignored. While naming neither McCain nor presumptive Democratic nominee Barack Obama, it reinflames the political nerve endings over Obama's seeming shift on U.S. troop withdrawal from Iraq. I will bring this war to a close, and I will bring our troops home within 16 months of the time that I take office. That was Obama in December. Last week, the senator said he will consult with commanders on the ground when he visits Iraq this summer. I'll have more information and will continue to refine my policies. Yesterday, Obama chided the media for suggesting refinement meant changing positions. I'm surprised at how finely calibrated every single word was measured. Uh, you know, it was, I wasn't saying anything that I hadn't said before. And today, fellow Democrats continued to come to his defense. It is no change whatsoever in his fundamental determination to end the war. But Republicans, some accusing Obama of flip-flopping, kept swinging hard. He's in a box. He ran hard to the left during the primary. Uh, the surge, he said, would fail. This work. If he comes back from Iraq and says this thing hasn't worked, you need to pull all the troops out, he will look irresponsible and he doesn't know how to handle that. Analysts say how Obama handles mounting criticism for a number of shifts on Iraq, on rejecting federal election financing despite a pledge to accept it, and voting to support the government's Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act could tarnish his claim that he's not just another politician. When you're running for president and you've made a claim of being honest and forthright and different than other politicians, you really hold yourself to a higher standard. That's the big problem for Obama right now. Americans are telling pollsters that the number one issue on their minds is the economy, and both candidates hit the ground running on that theme tomorrow. But there is likely to be a lot more talk on Iraq as well, especially, Russ, since Republicans believe Obama is vulnerable on that score. Thaya Shuris in Washington, thank you very much.